Hey Boilermakers, we're here at ross Aid Stadium. Today we'll take a look at what it takes to make sure our game field is ready for every game. We're joined here today by Brian Bornino, who's a sports turf crew chief. Brian, can you just go into a little bit about what your responsibilities are with our athletic fields here at Purdue? Sure. Um, I'm responsible for overseeing uh, a crew that takes care of all outdoor athletic fields, uh, which would be track, cross country, uh, soccer fields, the new baseball uh, field out at Alexander, softball field, uh, the practice fields for football, and ross Aid Stadium. So a unique thing about ross Aid Stadium is we are the northernmost stadium to have Bermuda grass. Can you go into a little bit about what it takes to take care of that grass? Sure. Uh, there's definitely some challenges. Uh, this grass is usually a warm season grass, meaning that it, it only survives uh, in the warmer southern climates. Um, there, there's a colder tolerant uh, Bermuda grass, uh, Riviera, and Patriot that we've put in. What those cold, color, cold tolerant uh, cultivars have uh, provided us is an opportunity to grow something that not many other uh, places can grow. Uh, with the temperatures that we have, we have a smaller window. So if you, if you come by, if you happen to look at the field right now, you're like, oh man, this, there's no way this is going to be ready. But in reality, it's just now starting its growth. So even though your home lawn might be green, this one's just starting out and in the, the next few months uh, it just gets stronger and stronger so when you're out sweating and it's 70 degrees at night you don't like it this is the perfect time for this grass because it never shuts down and every day uh, it just it grows more and more uh, but our window is a lot smaller than what other southern schools have Purdue has a very well respected turf science program are you involved at all with that program uh, yeah, it, they are a big benefit to us. Um, the professors, if we have an issue, can come down here. Um, if there's a disease, we have a plant pathologist, uh, a great one named Dr. Rick Latin. He comes down, uh, takes a look at stuff throughout the year, um, can help diagnose. We have great professors. A lot of research is going on at the Daniel Center uh, up on Cherry Lane. Um, with new cultivars, they're the reason that we even put Bermuda in. Uh, and we try to employ uh, as many of the students that we can. Um, we currently have eight of them. And uh, if you're, whether you're interested in golf course or sports turf, um, it's a chance for you to come out here, work on game days, and get almost like an internship during your school year. We see that you're currently working on the sidelines. Can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing? Sure. Uh, at this time, uh, once the spring game ends, uh, is when our real fun begins for our projects and stuff. Um, every year we try to pick a couple little things out and uh, try to update them. Uh, our sidelines have been picked this year. They've not been renovated since 2006. Um, and what you, what you see is that a lot of the, the top dressing, uh, which is the sand that we put on top of the field to bury the lateral growth, to protect it, uh, to fill in any like divots or um, impurities from the cleats, that migrates its way towards those drains and we have to renovate and it also helps with foot traffic uh, to alleviate compaction. So we're in the process of redoing all of the sidelines. So hopefully by game time, <laughs> nobody will even notice that we've done anything. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about the PAT system here at Purdue? Sure, the PAT system is the Prescription Athletic Turf System, uh, which was designed by uh, the late Doc Daniels uh, back in 1967, I think, 68 and uh, it's a drainage system that sits underneath the field. Uh, to the casual fan, you would never even know that it's there, uh, but what it is is a, a gigantic bathtub with 16 to 18 inches of sand with two lateral drains uh, that feed out with gigantic pumps. Uh, the original system is still in place. The pumps are still in place here, and uh, Doc got his wish in 2006 when we put Bermuda because it was originally specced back in the 60s with Bermuda. Awesome. Who would have thought back then <laughs> Bermuda uh, would have been growing in uh, West Lafayette. Thanks for your time here today, Brian. And thanks again for watching Purdue Football 212. We'll see you again next week. Boiler up!